YouTube, what is up? It's your boy Knowledge here from Gamers Little Playground, and today I wanted to make a quick thoughts and impressions video on the new Halo 5 opening cinematic. It was released recently, I think about four days ago, by Microsoft and 343 Industries. It has a lot of stuff going on. I wanted to share my thoughts to see what you guys thought. Um, so if you haven't checked it out, here it is first. If you've seen it already, just skip ahead three and a half minutes. Fire Team Osiris, over the last 72 hours, five colonies have experienced identical events. Massive destruction, forerunner in origin. And Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Halsey has managed to contact us. She claims to have information on these attacks. Halsey is currently in Covenant custody on the surface of Kamchata. Your mission is to insert behind enemy lines, retrieve Halsey, and bring her back to Infinity. Be advised, Dr. Halsey is accompanied by Covenant Supreme Leader Jewel Dama. If you have the opportunity... Understood, Commander. Good luck, Spartan Lock. Infinity out. Cracking gear online. Affirmative. Say, before we make this jump, anybody want to say a few words? I figure if God can hear how scared I am, so can everyone else. Lock, you buying the first drink when we're done? You ask, you buy. <laughs> Fire Team Osiris, the light is green. So epic. That's the that's the word that comes to mind is epic. The other word that might come to mind though is soulless. You know, I saw somebody comment that, oh wow, the Avengers 3 trailer. <laughs> and I thought that was hilarious because it's it's true. I mean, it looks it looks a little too epic. You know, it looks like a little too much action-ish, like too crazy. Like these are these guys are superheroes. <laughs> um but I don't know, I think as a fan, you just love seeing that a Spartan do that type of action. And I can't wait to see what Blue Team, I'm sure, I hope they have a cutscene equivalent for that where Blue Team destroys a whole army or something. But anyways, the first thing I, I thought and I noticed is, okay, was, okay, so the game's gonna start with Osiris Team. And I think they had to do that because they need to make you sympathetic to Osiris Team. The whole Hunt the Truth campaign is is kind of... I didn't really love it because they're t asking people like to take sides. What side are you on? Lock or Chief? And that's, that's not even a question. Like, I don't know anybody who would, who would choose Lock over Chief. I'm sure there's some people out there, but just off rip, 
Of course you you pick Chief Chief side no matter what you if Chief could murder a whole fa innocent family you, you still choose his side that's how attached we are to his character so I think strategically they have to start the game off here they have to make you sympathetic to the team get to know the team you know Buck already which is great and that's a perfect character to put in there because he's one of the fan favorites he's funny he shows his humor here and by doing that we might become a little attached to this team and see their side of things. So that, I think that's smart what they did there because apparently the game starts right at the end of the trailer when you see Locke just go into the screen, then like you're immediately into the gameplay. That's where the game starts. So I think that's that that's that's a good choice that they made. They had to do that. Um, the second thing that I noticed story-wise is you see Palmer and Lasky here. So that really, and of course they talk about Halsey and Jewel and Dada. So did I pronounce that right? Jewel, <laughs> Jewel Umdara. Hopefully I did. I'm sorry if I did it. Um, it picks up right from where Spartan Ops left off. I know that there's comics out there and I know that's followed that story more, but for just people like me who have just played the games, this is following directly after Spartan Ops. And at the end of Spartan Ops, if you remember, the UNSC was supposed to murder and assassin was supposed to assassinate Halsey. They said they sent Palmer in to kill her, but Lasky had sent in his own team to go save her. Um, but she got shot. Friend of Palmer? <laughs> and Halsey was pissed off about that, and at the end they they kind of made her seem like she wanted to betray the UNSC. That's easy, Jewel. I want revenge. But, you know, nobody really thinks that she would betray humanity like that. I think she's just obviously using, using the covenant, using the elites, you know, to her own advantage because she wants to find the other half of the Janiski. She wants to find everything that the li librarian gave her. Um, that being said, the other thing that was interesting is that the Palmer is really antagonistic toward Halsey in, in Spartan Ops. So if you guys remember, there was a bunch of scenes where she just really talked down to her. She didn't like her. She thought she was a schemer. Doctor? What are you really doing? Who are you talking to? You're rude. You weren't rude. And this, they just seemed there. She was just kind of neutral. It was just the mission. Just have information on these attacks. Halsey is currently in Covenant custody on the surface of Kamchata. Your mission is to insert behind enemy lines, retrieve Halsey, and bring her back to infinity. I think that's another strategic move. People, they, I think 343 loves Palmer. Like, they've really pushed Palmer on us. She was in the main game. She was one of the main characters in Spartan Ops. She's in Spartan Assault. Like, they want you to like her, but that's another character for me personally. I don't know how everybody else felt. I didn't like Palmer. I didn't like how she reacted to chief i you know i don't know i guess that's what it is it's just like if she insults chief you just like oh fuck her like, <laughs> i hate her i hate her right away you know that might maybe that's just it maybe that's just that dumb bias that hardcore fans have i thought you'd be taller i did not like her and i think that 343 loves her and they want you to like her too so maybe making her less aggressive toward halsey is just one of those first steps into like okay she's gonna be more sympathetic in this in this version too and like they have to make they have to make that side sympathetic too otherwise the way they're setting up the story is not gonna work otherwise everybody's just gonna 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 love chief in this no matter what they actually i think they have to show chief doing something bad even though he will be doing it for a good cause they need to do make a mistake in order to make it some real drama here otherwise it's just they're just dumb unsc chasing the hero, Master Chief and, and Blue Team. The other thing about this trailer that is great and terrible at the same time is the epicness of it. The Spartans are it looks so OP here, it's crazy. And like I don't like the way they just fucked up two elites right here. Like like nothing. Like nothing. It was just like just here's two elites. Get the fuck out of here. I don't know. It just 
it takes away like so if they're just fucking them up like who else is there to even fight against these spartans it's they almost look too overpowered and the danger is here is always with sequels it has to get bigger and better bigger and better it has to get more epic and don't get me wrong i love this opening cinematic because the action is great but i'm just hoping that the game doesn't lose its soul along the way and i i don't th think it will because the centerpiece of this should be master chief and his personal story and they really been banging that home and if they do really explore john even more and add these epic scenes this is just the greatest game that has ever been made but if we just get a bunch of these scenes and nothing personal i i think that you'll you'll it'll lose his soul there'll be no reason to care even though it'll look epic and amazing it'll just be like transformers fucking 10 or some shit so i you know that that's just the general thoughts and impressions i got from the trailer I want to know what you guys think. Let me know. Do you think that the game will keep his soul or is it just treading too far into that water of just bigger and better and more explosions? <laughs> the Michael Bay <laughs> area. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you guys in the comments. Peace.